this vehicle has been uh, uh, visited the Warsaw with a serious problem in the uh, transmission uh, mechatronic uh, unit. It has been replaced as a complete uh, package. The mechatronic control unit is not necessary to remove the gearbox for the job and uh, the calibration was necessary to be done after this. Uh, we connect the ISCAN WT on the uh, vehicle and uh, we make the first setup uh, um, adjustments. You can see that the scanner is connected and activated we select uh, the, the exact uh, model Volkswagen Audi Golf and then you, we select uh, 2004 and after and we go to 2009 which is the specific year of production of the of this model the next step is to determine the type of the transmission so we can perform the basic setting uh, accordingly yeah in the first page which is the information page we notice that the gearbox type is of uh, 02E which means 6 speed uh, sequential transmission gearbox uh, we verify that keep going and then we read for possible fault codes remember if there is a permanent fault in the transmission the calibration is not possible to be performed uh, in this case we didn't find any uh, fault code now we go to the data stream because it's important in order to start the calibration to bring the transmission fluid in the appropriate temperature uh, that happens in page 19 on which the, we see that the transmission temperature is about 20 degrees now the car was about cold when we connect the scanner just we start up the engine and uh, we have to wait a while until the uh, transmission temperature is increased over 30 degrees this is important because uh, uh, calibration can, does not proceed unless the fluid temperature is in the in the right uh, uh, value uh, the solenoid calibrations also is not being possible to be performed um, now we already let it for a few minutes and we notice that the transmission temperature now is 54 degrees so we can start the basic calibration we select basic calibration and we enter the appropriate channel 061 and the, the lines now 1 to 4 is indicating uh, as you notice numbers which is the, uh, the calibration started it's going to take uh, a few minutes, three to four minutes, until the calibration has been uh, completed. Remember, if there is a fault in the transmission, the calibration interrupted. So it starts from these values, which says, as we read, uh, block from different block is different number. The the numbers start to change. remember that these numbers represent the travel uh, sensor uh, distance 
inside the gearbox in a digital number so uh, it's not an actual uh, length 3D Uh, some uh, noise can be heard from the gearbox during the calibration because of the movement of the travel sensors. The calibration is proceeding normally and in a particular point uh, the number stop change and these particular numbers indicates that the calibration has been completed successfully the calibration continues in the second part okay with the uh, synchronization point and again we uh, enter the appropriate block number and we can see the uh, numbers which uh, start changing and find finishing in a particular mode block 65 is uh, inserted in order to calibrate the pressure solenoids and we see the uh, uh, the values, which is all zero. Obviously, is is not need any basic setting. And then checking the fault codes in the at the end of the procedure, we see that no codes are being in the system. At the end of the procedure, the vehicle uh, needs to be driven for a while about uh, five kilometers in order to give to, to allow time for the self-learning functions to be activated uh, in the uh, transmission machine um, the, the, the gear uh, changes are be smooth now and uh, that's all